TOS Television, your digital for Pan African News Network. I am Abigail Okwande, and this is Africa Now. Tigrayan forces fighting the central government say they have withdrawn from neighboring regions in northern Ethiopia, a step towards a possible ceasefire after 13 months of brutal war. Debrest John Gabriel Michael, the head of the Tigray's People's Liberation Front, in a letter to the United Nations on Monday, called for a no-fly zone for hostile aircraft over Tigray, imposing armed embargoes on Ethiopia and its ally Eritrea, and a UN mechanism to verify that external armed forces had withdrawn from Tigray. Now, protests in the city of Goma in eastern Congo on Monday over worsening security left a police officer and at least two civilians dead. Police and civil society said crowds of demonstrators gathered to protest at regional violence, what they believe is the imminent arrival of security forces from neighboring Rwanda to quell the unrest. The government denies Rwandan forces are coming to help. Now to COVID-19 updates. Speaking to journalists at the WHO headquarters in Geneva on Monday, Tedros Ghebreyesus, head of the World Health Organization, said an event cancelled is better than a life cancelled. There is now consistent evidence that the Omicron variant is outpacing Delta as COVID-19 continues to account for 50,000 deaths worldwide every week, he said. As of December 19, confirmed cases of COVID-19 from 55 African countries has reached 9 million. Now the United States is considering easing travel restrictions to southern African countries as the infection rate of the Omicron variant is on the rise. Top infection disease expert Dr. Anthony Fauci said on Monday. On November 29, the U.S. barred nearly all foreign nationals if they had been in one of the eight southern African countries within the last 14 days. No specific date. No specific data was stated for when the restrictions might be lifted, but travel industry officials said it could happen as soon as this week. Still in South Africa, President Cyril Ramaphosa has returned to work after finishing a week of self-isolation due to testing positive for COVID-19, his office said on Monday. Ramaphosa, who was vaccinated in February, tested positive for COVID-19 on December 12 and received treatment for mild symptoms. The presidency in a statement said the president would chair the final cabinet meeting for 2021 on Wednesday. This is your Digital Force Pan African News Network, TOS Television. You're watching Africa Now. Business and more coming your way after the break. Do stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back in business. The International Monetary Fund will start discussions next month on an extended credit facility with Mozambique, the fund said on Tuesday. Its first potential program with the country since suspending support in 2016. That year, Mozambique unveiled hefty state-backed borrowing it had previously failed to disclose in a $2 billion corruption scandal that prompted donors to cut off aid and sparked a currency collapse and a debt crisis. The program will aim to help ease financial pressures as Mozambique recovers from the pandemic. Now, Ivory Coast dockers have suspended a week-long strike demanding better working conditions and pay while negotiations are held with the government, a union spokesperson disclosed on Monday. One of the dockers' demands was for the government to respect a 2019 agreement to pay them €3 Euros per hour in line with the international standards. They currently earn up to €1 Euro per hour. The move to block the pot threatened to curb cocoa bean exports from the world top's producer. Now moving away from business, prominent Egyptian activist Allah Abdel Fattah has been sentenced to five years in prison on Monday after being tried on charges of spreading fake news, a judicial source said. Blogger Mohamed Ibrahim and lawyer Mohamed El Bakir, who also faced the same charges, were sentenced to four years each. Since 2013, when the then army chief Abdel Fattah al-Sisi ousted Prime President Mohamed Morsi of the Muslim Brotherhood, there has been a crackdown on political dissent in Egypt, drawing criticism from human rights groups who say tens of thousands of people have been jailed. Now a cargo ship illegally carrying it 130 passengers sank off Madagascar's northeastern coast, killing at least 17 people and leaving 68 missing, officials said on Monday. At least 45 people have been rescued from the waters of the Indian Ocean, according to a report from the Maritime and River Port Agency. A hole in the ship's hull is believed to have caused it to sink. 
and to sports. The fate of January's Africa Cup of Nations final in Cameroon hung in the balance on Monday on concerns over the country's readiness to host the tournament as Confederation of African Football President Patrice Motsepe flew into Yaoundé for talks. Several members of the committee called for the tournament to be postponed, but the majority voted for Motsepe to make an emergency trip to engage with the Cameroon government. Originally, Cameroon was awarded the hosting of the 2019 finals, but the tournament was switched to Egypt when CAF found the Central African country was not ready. Cameroon was then handed the 2021 tournament, which has since been delayed by 12 months due to the COVID-19 pandemic. And that is it on Africa Now. For more updates, to visit our website at www.tostvnetwork.com. To follow us and like our social media handles on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And remember to subscribe on YouTube. Do stay with us and enjoy more programs on TOS Television Network. I am Abigail Lukwade. Thanks for watching.